one. The color picker widget is used here to select a color. This color will be the color for all future drawing widgets until a new color is selected. Two. The color picker takes a lot of visual space. Thus it is used as a dialog in this tutorial. Thus, we import the pop-up class. In a future tutorial, we will use the Screen Manager class to set a new screen for the color picker. We will need the widget class for the drawings as well as for the root. The color picker will be embedded in the pop-up. Besides the app class, we need the list property which will be used to hold color information. Color Picker returns a list of four numbers, red, green, blue and alpha. We also define a global variable col. This will be the initial color. Three. We create a class to hold the drawing widget, which is circle shaped. We save the color information for each circle widget so they can be independent. The color picker and pop-up classes are also defined. Four. This is the root class. Notice this also has a list property. Once the color picker chooses a color, it will be stored here. In the next slide, we will see it being used when a new drawing widget is created. We have a function to open the pop-up. This function will be called from the KV file when a button is pressed. Next, in on touchdown, the touch position is tested for the case that it is in the button region. In the KV file, we will define the button as 100 by 100 pixels at position of 0, 0. Should it be inside the button, we let other widgets handle it. 5. Should it be outside the button, a circle is drawn. After creating a new instance of selected color ellipse, its color list is set to the root's color. After setting the position, it is added to root. 6. The app class always must exist for any application. 7. These define the shape of the circle widgets that will be drawn. They get color based on the value of the class's list property. 8. The pop-up window will have a title of Color Select. It is 400 by 400 pixels. Its auto dismiss is set to false, so a click outside it will not dismiss it. 9. Next we embed a color picker into the pop-up. Its on color is called whenever a new color is chosen by a user. If so, the roots list property is changed. In the color picker, we have a select button which will dismiss the pop-up. 10. For the root, we set a background color of white. 11. In the root, there is a button which when clicked will open the pop-up. The button is 100 by 100 and is positioned at 0, 0. 12. This result is taken after we have drawn a few circles and then selected the color picker. The drawing can be seen even though it is slightly grayed out, which indicates a pop-up is open. Here, we select the cyan color. 13. After dismissing the pop-up, we draw an H in the lower middle of the screen. 14. You can find additional information including the source code at pythonmobile.blogspot.com.